morning everyone today is a softball saturday me and william are headed to dothan we play in dothan this weekend play a little salt uh, salt did i say softball scratch welcome to strickland farm everybody welcome back to Strickland Farm today's a baseball Saturday we got a baseball tournament this weekend in Dothan so me and William are headed that way we got an early start at seven o'clock so well we got a bale of hay in the back of the truck we got a I got to deliver a bale of hay to Slocum so that's kind of close to Dothan so we're gonna drop a bale of hay off on the way to the ball tournament so stay tuned appreciate y'all clicking on the video give us a thumbs up make sure you click subscribe Catherine does at the ball field when it's cold. Bundles up in a wagon. <laughs> All right, we are done playing ball. We uh we lost both games. The first one was close for the second one. We got blowed out. But we'll come back tomorrow and try again. Championship game. Uh, we got to get. We're the fourth seed, man. We're the last seed. Fire oh. I saw it down there. <laughs> But me and these boys is playing a fire hydrant game. If you don't know what that is, you see a fire hydrant, you yell out fire hydrant, you keep scoring. Whoever has the most when you get to where you're going Wait, wins. I, I don't forget to score. I got I, five. I got six. I got, I got six. That's fire hydrant. Oh, Drake got that one. Seven. Seven. So that's how you play fire hydrant game. It's pretty fun on long trips. It gets a little old, especially when everybody's yelling. Fire hydrant. Oh I got God. that one. <laughs> right away down there. I'm yeah. We headed to get some lunch. Stay tuned. All right, what's going on, everybody? Our tournament. Did not go as well as planned. We lost all three games, but hopefully we learned something. So, William hit the ball pretty decent. Uh, he caught a fly ball in the outfield. So, we got some things to build on, but hopefully we can get better. Ooh, that win. So, we are back home. We made it to church this morning. Then ate lunch, and now I am about to install the draw bar on my 6120 that I ordered offline. I ordered a used one. So it is not green. We'll remedy that one day. I bought a I bought some John Deere green paint, so we'll fix it one day. But I'm gonna get it in the tractor so I can hook the disc up and start disking this new field. So y'all stay tuned. Alright, here we go. Who's hanging in the dirt? What is this? 27. Too small. Thirty. Thirty is a little big. Let's see if I can get it. So this draw bar is actually longer. I hope y'all can see. This draw bar is actually longer than the the one that came in it. But it's okay because I measured it versus the other one. I just gotta slide it back a little further. So we're gonna come back to maybe that hole right there. That hole right there maybe. I think that's the ticket. Uh, 
at it. Uh, all right it's tight we're done that was quick and easy new draw bars installed so now i just have to take the plow off and hook the disc we're doing it got the disc hooked up finally i had to get dad over here he's leaving uh there yeah I had to get that over here. The jack was froze up and I couldn't get the tongue up. I could pick the tongue up by myself, but I didn't have nothing to put under it. So, Dad brought me some blocks. We got it hooked up. So now I'm disking. Man, it's pretty moist. We got a lot of rain the last couple days. Um, so there's a lot of moisture in it right now, but it's doing good. There's a lot of sod to bust up. Oh, I'm at the end of the field. I need to turn my hydraulics down a little bit. It's number two. I want to slow you down. Okay. Bye. Ah, that's gonna wrap it up, wrap it up for me today. Disc is doing awesome. Oh, what I've been doing before I leave, I gotta go to a birthday party, but this is that center run where all the tree clumps were. And it had big humps and swells and just where a bulldozer had pushed up stuff. And so I just been going back and forth up and down it, which you can see there's still work to be done. Like right there's still a ditch kinda. So, but I'm gonna, my plan is to cut it this way, back this way to fix it but i've had a lot of people comment that that 630 disc won't level worth crap let me tell you something i think that's pretty dang good to me i mean that looks good so right. you know i'm gonna break this field and then run over it with a field cultivator so but i made a couple passes crossways right there so that's just one pass right here. And this is probably four right here. So it's coming together though. It's it's starting to mellow out, you know, fill in the holes and which I have stopped and dropped a grapple and knocked in a few, knocked a few tops of little mounds off and um, pushed them in a hole. But I think it's coming together. I wish I could work for another four or five hours, but it's getting late and I got a birthday party to go to. All right. This is the end of the video. Appreciate y'all clicking on it. Hope you enjoyed it. One day we're going to have peanuts in this field. I just don't know when, but we're getting there slowly but surely. It's, it's the middle of March, so I'm hoping by the middle of April I'll be uh, ready to go. So y'all give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. You see something like you know this is my first year ever doing peanuts this is my first year ever getting a field like this ready so if you see something that i'm missing let me know man i appreciate it so stay tuned for the next one <clears throat> hey everybody this is just a man that looks good it's an afterward or whatever it's called that's after the video so my wife and daughter are going on a mission trip out of country uh, this next week. So.
this I think this video is gonna come out on Thursday and then leave on Friday. So for those of y'all that pray or Christian praying people, uh, if y'all would say a prayer for their travels and uh, they're going a going a long way uh, over a, a big ocean. So I ain't gonna say where because you know keep the missionaries and their family safe. You know. But they're going to visit with some missionaries that we've partnered with at our church. And uh, I just ask if uh, if you would, if you're a prayer person, give them some prayers for safe travels. They're excited. Uh, my daughter's never flown. Well, my wife or daughter's never flown out of the country. My wife's flown all over the country, but never out of the country. So this will be a first long flight. So I'll just say a prayer for them. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching Strickland Farm.